Guess what it's time for? Guess what it's time for? Boy, that TV Q and A. Boy, that TV Q and A. Boy, boy, that TV. Boy, that boy, that boy, boy, that TV. Boy, that boy, that boy, boy, that TV Q and A. Guess what it's time for? Guess what it's time for? Hey guys, this is Buona again. I'm in my live chat room at live.buona.tv and we're answering questions live. Uh, Friday, March 20th, and I decided to do this, so here we are. Robbie in the chat room asks, I just lost a question. Okay, he says, I know you use TweetDeck, but it seems to take up a lot of memory and slow down my laptop. Any good alternatives, Buona? Yes, you are absolutely correct, Robbie. I agree 110%. TweetDeck is a memory <laughs> memory hog. Memory hog. And it's primarily due to Adobe Air. Um, Adobe Air is notoriously buggy in terms of memory consumption and memory uh, release. Lamest terms, it has memory leaks up the wazoo. So that means if the longer you leave the program running, the more memory it will consume. I'm talking about random access memory or RAM. Um, so you're going to encounter this issue with any Adobe Air client. And unfortunately, Twirl, Destroy Twitter, TweetDeck, they all use Adobe Air and they all have their varying levels of memory leakage and memory consumption. Um, so, if memory is your primary concern, um, ah, there, I'm trying to think of that site. There was a website that, uh, let me see, Rasheen, he recommended this to me. Let me look it up. It's a web based Twitter program that's probably the most robust. Uh, let's go to advanced search. Machine, everyone, and he, let's see, Twitter, no, it's not Twitter.com, it's not TweetTree, you guys can keep guessing, it could be a game, is it this, is it that, is it this, is it this, is it that, is it this, is it this, is that, is that, is it this, did, 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 did that, uh, <laughs> it's, it's like Twitter on steroids, it's, it's, it's a really, um, gosh, I can't remember of it. Can't remember it, but it's web-based, and that's the point I'm making. If 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 you know resources are a primary concern, look for a web-based client that can give you a lot of the things TweetDeck can give you. Um, there, uh, let's see, right? Twitter web. Nope. 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 I tweet. That's the name of it. Go to itweet.net. Okay. And I found this to probably be one of the most robust, feature rich web based clients out there. URL is itweet.net. I think it automatically redirects you to web, and I'm going to log in real quick. It's got everything. Um, it doesn't have groups, I don't think, but I don't think any web-based client has groups. But this thing has everything. It has a URL shortener, has TwitPic, uh, it has special symbols, it has direct messages. Oh, man. It's Twitter on steroids and a half. Trust me. Um, hashtags, uh, automatic refresh. Uh, let's see. I am style posting. Uh, what else? Retweet buttons. Uh, 
favorites, uh, at signs, you know, reply and all that stuff. iTweet.net is very, very good. Now, if you want to use something that's similar to the look of TweetDeck, try Monitor.com. That's M-O-N-I-T-T-E-R dot com. This is primarily a search uh, pane type deal. Try monitor.com. It looks a lot like TweetDeck, uh, but it's real-time updates in three different panes. So if you're used to the search results, the search panes in TweetDeck, that's essentially what it is. It's not exactly um, the same thing. So there's another site that I can uh, recommend, which is FriendDeck. After I can get my browser back, hold on. Friend Deck, I believe that's the name of it. This is a friend feed client. If you're into friend feed, that looks exactly like Tweet Deck, except it is web based. Now, if they added Twitter support, you'd have you would definitely have uh, you would have Tweet Deck on the web right here because it looks exactly and works exactly like Tweet Deck. But you can manipulate this. I mean, you can use friend feed to add your friends. And manage your Twitter through FriendFeed, and you can reply to Twitter through FriendFeed as well. So go to FriendDeck.com, give that a try. These are just web alternatives because that's the only thing that's going to. I I mean I would say Twitterific, but I I've just I'm I'm not a fan of Twitterific anymore. This seems like the other clients are kind of excelling beyond Twitterific. Another solution is to use hollow.com. Uh, do you use a Mac? Uh, who, who was asking that? Robbie, do you use a Mac or Windows? I don't think it'll matter, but what you can do is set up a dedicated window with hollow.com. Set up just a dedicated small window with hollow.com, and it gives you a mobile Twitter client, if you will using the iPhone mobile interface in your web browser, works with any browser, and uh, it's pretty feature rich. I know Chris Perillo loves this one a lot. Um, let's see, this shit not logging in. There we go. So you can take that and create, just do a new window in your browser, log into this, make it small size, you know, like a little corner, and it could all it can act like a little you know, a little mobile Twitter client in the corner. And it's it's got some good stuff. It's got the in reply to function. It's got uh I believe it's got retweet functionality. But no you're not gonna have groups. So in essence you're kinda stuck if you want groups. Um Destroy Twitter has some basic grouping and I I did see that Destroy Twitter used a little bit less memory than TweetDeck. It has what's called rules, if you will. It's like exclusion, exclusion, not really groups but something close to it. So I hope I answered your question about uh, alternatives to TweetDeck and uh, what you can do with this. Not a whole lot you can do. So the best the best alternative I can think of right now is to um, use a web-based client. Um, and like Killer Crew said, use Destroy Twitter. Like I said, all Adobe Air clients ha will have some kind of memory issue. So don't expect that to completely disappear. Uh, nobody can solve it from the client end because it is handled by Adobe Air. But some clients use less memory than others. Uh, TweetDeck, I think, is one of the heaviest ones because it does so much. And, um, you know, I think after TweetDeck, it may go up to Twirl and then destroy Twitter. And, you know, I think it uses less and less as you, as you go. All right, this is Buona. Hope I answered your question. And I hope you're not deaf because I just clapped right in the mic. All right, guys.